Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing iPhone tricks that are hidden on iOS 14. Now these are very useful tricks that a lot of people don't know about and probably a lot of you guys didn't know existed. So let's get started with the first one. Now, when you go to the settings app of your iOS 14 device at the top there, of course, you will have your profile. Now, if you go there and you go under media and purchases, here will have your account and what you will find here is purchase history. Now, this is really interesting. You can find purchase history also on the app store, but it's not the same thing. If you go under purchase history, you will find here everything that you have purchased through your iPhone. Now, what you can find here is dates way back from the first time you have purchased something on your iPhone. So let's just wait for this to load and you can see how you can switch between different dates and different years and see everything that you have purchased on your iPhone. So you can see right here, I have for the last 90 days right there and I have all the different apps that I have purchased and I have the total build right there. So anything you have purchased, you can find right here. Now, what's interesting, you tap right there and now you can change the date range right here. So we'll have all the previous years and you have the numbers of purchases that you have made right there. And you can, of course, tap on one of them. You can see right here, all I got in 2011 is December, so I can go to December right there and these are the apps that I have purchased, everything that I have purchased from the App Store and iTunes Store on December 2011. Really cool, if you just wanna take a look at everything that you have purchased, you can do that from here. A very cool trick will let your iPhone speak the battery percentage, the current battery percentage, whenever you plug in your device to charge and you unplug your device after charging it. So what you gotta do is go to the Shortcuts app and go under Automations. Right here, tap on Create Personal Automation and scroll all the way down and go ahead and tap on Charger. From here, make sure you have selected both of these and tap the next button. What you gotta do here is tap on add action and search for get battery. So here we have get battery level, tap on that and tap the plus button and now search for speak text. So here we have speak text. You can see it says battery level right there. Tap the next button, disable this right here and click the dumb button. And now you're good to go. Every time you actually go ahead and plug in your device to charge, it will speak the current battery level. As you can see right there, it did tell me the battery level that's currently on my iPhone. I can unplug the device from here. And as you can see as well, it will tell me the battery percentage after I'm done charging the device. There is a very useful trick on the iMessage app. So let's say you receive a message from someone and you want to forward that same message to someone else. Did you know that you can actually just three to touch on a message, tap on more, and right now you will see here you have a share button. If you tap right there, it will place that message right here on the text field. And all you gotta do now is just go ahead and pick another recipient to who you want to send that message and you don't have to type the message from the beginning. Anytime you wanna forward an iMessage, you can do that from here. An iMessage trick, which is really cool. Now, when you send a message, you can here go ahead and just try to send some emojis. So let's just try here some faces. And if you tap and hold here, you know that you can add the screen effect and you can see how it sends them but that's not really that cool. What you can do here is just separate these emojis. So you tap one right there and then you tap on the return once more and add another emoji here. So let's just try this one. Do the same thing again, of course, for every emoji that you want to add. And now what you do here is tap and hold this. And now when you go to screen, you can see a much, much cooler effect that you probably didn't know about. This is really awesome. You send someone these emojis combined like this. It looks actually pretty, pretty cool. A very cool iPhone trick will let you play music and record videos at the same time. So you probably have noticed that once you have music playing in the background and you go to the camera app 
and try to shoot a video, it will stop playing the music, but not if you use this trick. So here we have music playing and we can go ahead and just go to the camera app. And what you can do here is just stay on the photo mode and tap and hold here. You can see it starts recording video. Just swipe like this to lock it on that place. And now we're playing music in the background as well as shooting a video with the iPhone, which is really cool. And you will also have, of course, the option here to take still pictures while you're recording a video. And you can see everything works just fine. We're recording a video and of course still having music being played in the background. And one of the cool features of iOS 14 is the new picture in picture mode that you get for videos playing on Safari and a few selected apps. Now, did you know that you can, of course, resize this? So you can see right here, I'm on the biggest size of the picture in picture video player here. If I double tap, of course, it will resize it, make it smaller. And you can see it will go on the right side. But what you can do here is basically tell iOS on which side it should put the video when you make it smaller. Now, if you're on this current position, and you just swipe it down like this. Now, every time you go ahead and double tap, it will minimize it to this side. But if I'm here and I just swipe it like that, then it will be memorized and just will be moved on the right side there. So again, if we're here, double tap, it goes to that corner. On your iPhone, when you go to the Photos app on iOS 14, you will have a bunch of different albums with photos. Now, of course, albums, the ones that are created automatically by apps or by iOS are automatically named as well. But did you know that you can actually rename your albums? You go to any album you want, you tap right there on the three dots, and right here will find a button to rename that album. And just like that, you can go ahead and just rename this album to anything you want. You probably know that you can lock notes with a passcode on iOS 14. That's pretty simple. But did you know that you can also lock your notes using Face ID. So what you gotta do is go to settings and go to the notes section. Once you're here, you will find a field here that says passcode. Now at the top, you will find an enable button to enable Face ID. And from there, you will be able to actually protect your notes using Face ID. Now, of course, all you gotta do is go to one of the notes and you will be able to log them. So you can see right here, it will require Face ID. Once I tap on view note, Face ID, and of course, you will be able to actually unlock this using Face ID. Now, right now it's not unlocking it because I'm not in front of the phone. I'm on the side here, but let's just go ahead and enter the passcode here. So all you gotta do on a note is just simply tap right there and tap on lock. And of course, you will be able to use Face ID to lock any of your notes. On your iPhone, you can scan documents using the Notes app. If you go to the Notes and tap to start a new note, you will have here a camera button. If you tap there, then you will have an option here to scan documents. But you can do that much quicker. Anytime you need to quickly scan something like a document, all you gotta do is just go to the Control Center and from here, of course, on the notes, just three to touch and tap right there and it will immediately take you to the part where you can scan a document. Not only that, you will also get here filter. So if you tap right there on that button, you will get like grayscale here, you will get black and white, anything that you need, of course, based on what document you're actually scanning. So that's really, really cool. Now, if you go to your control center and you don't find this button, then you will need to enable it through settings. So just make sure you go to the settings app and you will find here control center and just go ahead and find notes. You will find it here. If you don't have it, just tap the plus button and you will add it to your control center. You probably know about a feature that lets you search for a certain word on any website that you're on. That's a feature on Safari, which is really useful. But did you know that you can do the same thing on the notes app? So if you have like a long note, you have something written and you need to find like a certain word, all you gotta do is just open that note, tap those three dots right there, and right here we'll find a button that says find a note. So in this case, I wanna find test. So you can see right here, it will find the word right there. And I will have these two little arrows, which allow me to move between those words that have been found. So in this case, I have the word test two times on that note. And of course, I can go back and forth and it will take me exactly to that word, which is also highlighted. So you basically can notice it much easier.
So that is it for this video guys. These are 10 hidden features within iOS 14 that I believe are very cool and most of them very useful as well. I hope you guys learned something new today. Let me know if you did know any of these tricks or if you're someone experienced with iOS and you knew all about them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.